Hello, today our lesson is 5.3 from Speak Out Pre-Intermediate Students book and it's called You Can't Miss It. We will have function, asking for and giving directions, vocabulary, tourism, and we will learn to show and check understanding. The first part is vocabulary. Look at the pictures and let's see, tourism. So we have some words in frames, tour guide, boat trip, coach tour, tourist, sightseeing, natural wonder, tax-free shopping. And the task, which thing can you see in the photos? In this photo, we can see waterfalls and it's natural wonder. The second picture shows us tourists, tour guide and sightseeing. The third picture shows boat trip and again tourists and tour guide. Next part of the lesson is reading. So, what do you think the man does? Why do you think he works in three countries every day? Read the text to find out. So let's read. The man who works in three countries every day. Juan Oliveira was born in Argentina, grew up in Paraguay, and now lives in Brazil. He says he loves the three countries equally, and he works in all three of them every day. Juan is a tour guide in Foz de Iguazu, a Brazilian town which is close to the borders of both Argentina and Paraguay. He takes tourists around the Iguazu Falls, one of the great natural wonders of the world. First, he shows tourists the waterfall from the Brazilian side. Then they cross the border to see the water from the Argentinian side. After that, they go on a boat trip, which takes them under the waterfall. Finally, he takes them on the short journey to Cuadra del Este in Paraguay to do some tax-free shopping. He said the falls are amazing, especially in the rainy season. He sees them every day and he never gets tired of them. So let's answer the question. Why do you think he works in three countries every day? So this man is a tour guide. He lives in Brazil and takes tourists to the Iguazo Falls on both the Brazilian and Argentinian sides. And then takes them shopping in Paraguay. And he said that the waterfalls are amazing and he sees them every day and he never gets tired of them. The next part is listening. And we will learn function, asking for and giving directions. So the first one is 5.4, exercise 3a. Listen to Juan talking about one place in the city. What is special about it? Let's listen. Unit 5. Recording 4. There is one point in the center of Foz do Iguaçu City where you can get to Paraguay and Argentina easily. From this point, it only takes half an hour to get to both countries. It's great because you can visit three countries in one hour. And, of course, you can see the falls. Okay, so what is special about this place? From a point in the center of Foz do Iguaçu, it only takes half an hour to get to Paraguay and Argentina and see the falls too. Next listening is B5.5. Let's listen. Listen and follow the route on the map. Each For each route, write the destination on the map. Unit 5. Recording 5. Route 1. To get to Paraguay, you have to go left. You go along the main road, past the turning for the International Hospital. Then you turn right and you're on the main street called Avenue Kubicek. This goes through the center of town. From there, you just keep going until you reach the highway, Highway 277. Go left and the bridge is at the end of the highway. You cross the bridge and you are in Paraguay. Route 2 To get to Argentina, you wait at the corner for the bus. It takes you down Avenue das Cataratas and right into Avenida Mercosul. The 
bus goes straight on for about 25 minutes, cross the bridge and you're in Argentina. Route 3. To see the Iguazu Falls on the Brazilian side, you turn right and just go straight on down Highway 469 and the falls are in front of you. You can't miss them. They're the biggest in the world. Okay, so what were three routes on the map? The first one was Paraguay, the second Argentina, and the third goes the falls on the Brazilian side. So let's see the route on the map. So the first, we are here. Go left, go along the main road, past the turning, turn right, Avenue Kubacek, this is. After that, keep going until you reach Highway 277. So we are here. Go left to the bridge. It is at the end of the highway. Then across the bridge. And you are here in Paraguay. The next route. Wait at the bus stop. Uh, the bus will come and takes you down the avenue Das Cataratas. This is. The bus goes straight for about 25 minutes and cross the bridge. Cross the bridge. And uh, right, just go down. Along the highway 469. And the last one, go straight down along the highway 469 and you can see waterfalls. Let's go down and you can see waterfalls. These are waterfalls just in front of you. You can't miss them. It's from the Brazilian side. And the second route was from Argentinian side. So it was here like that. So uh, the next part of our lesson is giving directions. So we have some pictures and we have some words in the frame. Label pictures A to J with the phrases in the book. Go along the main road, go straight on in front of you, go past the turning, Take the first right, go left, keep going until you reach the border, at the corner, go through the center of the town, cross the bridge. And let's see what is the first picture. The first picture shows us go left. The second B, go past the turning. The third is given, go along the main road. D. Take the first right. E. Keep going until you reach the border. This is border. F. At the corner. This is corner. E. Ah, we have G. Sorry. G. Go through the center of the town. H. Cross the bridge. I go straight, go straight on, and J in front of you. So uh, let's. The next one is listening part. Let's listen to three conversation. Are the statement true or false? So speaker one takes the bus. Speaker two has a map. Speaker 3 will see a restaurant before arriving the Grand Motel. So let's listen. Unit 5, recording 6. 1. Excuse me, we're trying to get to the carnival. Is this the right bus stop? Yes, but you don't need the bus. It's very close. Oh, can we walk? Yes, it takes about 10 minutes from here. Just go straight on. You'll hear the music. Okay, thank you very much. Unit 
five. I'm looking for the Plaza Hotel. Is this the right way? Um, Plaza Hotel, uh, Plaza Hotel. Oh, yes. Keep going past the cinema and take the first left. Okay. Then keep going for about 15 minutes until you reach the end of the road. And you'll see the sign for the hotel. You can't miss it. Okay. Um, can you show me on the map? Sure. Three. Excuse me, we want to get to the Grand Motel. Is it far? Um, sorry, I've no idea. Jim, do you know? What? The Grand Motel. The Grand Motel? Yeah, it's just over there. Uh, just go to the end of this street, go left and go past the, um, there's a restaurant. Go past the restaurant and it's on the left. On the left. So I need to go to the end of the street, turn left, go past the restaurant and it's on the left. Yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot. So the first one, the first one is false. So, uh, speaker takes the bus, but it is not correct. It's uh, too close, so the speaker doesn't need any bus. The second, speaker 2 has a map. Yes, it's correct, it's true. Speaker 3 will see a restaurant before arriving at the Grand Motel. Yes, it's true. So, B. Complete the notes, listen again to check. Conversation 1. It takes 10 minutes. Go straight on, you will hear the music. So we add 10 and music. Conversation to Plaza Hotel. Go past the cinema, take the first left. Keep going for 15 minutes, you will see the sign. So we add left, 15 and the sign. The Grand Motel, Conversation 3. Go to the end of the street, go left and go past the restaurant, it is on the left. So we add left, restaurant and left. The next part of our lesson is learn to show and check understanding. Read and listen to the extracts from the audio script, other phrases involve asking the information A, explaining direction E or showing understanding Q. So let's read. Uh, extract one. Can we walk? Yes, it takes about 10 minutes from here. So the first one is done. It's A, asking for information. And the second one is E, explaining directions. Extract two. Excuse me, can you help me? I'm looking for the Plaza Hotel. Is this the right way? So asking the information. Excuse me, can you help me? And uh, if it's the right way, it's also asking the information. The next one, mm, Plaza Hotel, Plaza Hotel. You keep going past the cinema and take the first lap. Okay, so uh, keep going. So keep going, it is uh, explaining direction. So it's E. The next one. Then keep going for about 15 minutes until you reach the end of the road. And you will see the sign for the motel. You can't miss it. So you will see it's explaining direction. And you can't miss it. It's also explaining direction. Okay, can you show me on the map? It's asking for understanding. Then, extract three. Excuse me, we want to get to the Grand Motel. Is it far? Is it far? It is, let's see. Is it far asking for information and showing understanding? Next one. 
The Grand Montelier is just over there. Just go to the end of the street. Go left and go past. Mm, there is a restaurant. Go past the restaurant. It's on the left. On the left. So I need to go to the end of the street. Turn left. Go past the restaurant. And it's on the left. So I need. So I need. It's explaining understanding. Showing understanding. You. So let's repeat. The first asking for information will be the phrases like excuse me, can you help me? Is this the right way? Can you show me on the map? The next one explaining direction will be is this uh, sorry, explaining direction let me show you uh, Keep going, you will see, you can't miss it. And showing understanding, it's okay. So I need to, so I need to, this showing the interest, the understanding. Our lesson is over. We have already passed all the exercises. See you next time.